How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Study Hat, and in today's lesson we'll be looking at building blocks, which is part of the 3D series that we'll be covering. 3D blocks are quite fun once you get the hang of them, and it also helps with your visualisation skills, which will come in handy with other non-verbal question types. Right now there is a figure on the left and a figure on the right. The shapes on the right can be combined to make the figure on the left, like so. They all come together, one shape moves to the back, and slowly it all falls into place. This question is all about visualising how 3D shapes get combined. It says work out which set of blocks can be combined to make the 3D figure on the left. What you have to do for this type of question is find which set of blocks can be put together to make the 3D figure. Think of it as addition but for 3D shapes. Now, let's take a look at the approach. The first step is to eliminate any blocks that are not in the figure. What that means is looking at the figure and then checking either A, B or C to spot if there are any blocks that don't appear in the figure you're trying to get. Start looking at the front of the figure and see if you can match the shapes. This will help because usually the front shape will start you off. And finally, check for any rotation or direction changes. Going back to the question, let's start off by eliminating any answers that have incorrect shapes. Straight away, I can see that A has this L shape, which does not appear in the figure on the left, so we can cross that off. Also, B has an extra figure here, which doesn't appear in the figure. The figure does have what looks like two cuboids and one L shape. Now it can't be C, since this shape right here is longer than it needs to be. That leaves us with figure D. Let's check if this is the correct answer. It has two cuboids, yes, and then one L shape figure, which is placed in the middle, so D is the correct answer. Taking a look at another example, it says work out which set of blocks can be combined to make the 3D figure on the left. If we begin with looking at the front of this figure, what we are looking for is any figure with the shape right here. A has one, B doesn't have this shape in its figure, therefore we can cross that off. C also has this figure and so does D. Now let's take a look at this L shape figure and go through the list of answers. Once again, what we are looking for is this L shape in any of the remaining answers. A does in fact have this shape, so we can't cross it out just yet. C doesn't have this L shape because if you manage to spot the mistake, it's that C's figure is slightly shorter than the one given to us with the figure on the left. Finally, D. It also has this L shape figure, so therefore we are left with both A and D to choose from. The final shape in the figure is actually right at the back, and that is a simple cube. Be careful not to get caught out by the subtle differences because something like that is easy to miss out. What we're now looking for is a small cube in either A or D, and it looks like A doesn't have one, as it's just got two cuboids and one L shape, whereas D, the smaller cube, has the L shape and the cuboid as well. Therefore, our answer is in fact D. That's it for today's lesson on 3D building blocks. Don't forget to have a go at the quiz right after this, and I'll talk to you in the next one.